guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to the 12 days of Christmas crafting with a trace of sparkle. So today we're going to work on these pretty little, um, I guess, lace trees. And this is going to be like a flip out. So I'm using these craft color envelopes that I have uh, just because I felt like the craft envelope made a pop, you know, when kind of pops out the tree a little bit better. But if you don't have that, you can coffee dye a regular white one. And um, I did ink around this one. You could see the difference. I kind of like that better. But I like this tree better. And I didn't put a topper on. But you can put any topper, right? You can use these pretty little blings from Neri. So I'm using some things from Neri's, her, her thin laces, and then she had some trims that she added. Let's see, she sent me some of these trims, and um, I left them on the board for now, but I'll probably move them. So what I did was I just cut them, you know, small, and you can make whatever uh, color that you, you would like. You can add that ribbon here. I added some little bit of like yarn there, her skinny laces, this pom-pom trim was in my stash. But so we're gonna make that because it's kind of fun and you can add this to your journal or you could send this as like, you can make this a gift card envelope. Um, so you can add a little letter and a gift card envelope or a gift card, I mean, in the envelope. So I opened this up because I sewed the Christmas tree you don't have to sew it. I just kind of like that because, um, well, this one I ended up gluing down, but this one I left open. I just glued a little bit in the middle and then I sewed it down the middle. So that way um, it leaves some movement there for the tree. But these I kind of left where I didn't glue these down. I just sewed those down. So I glued the lace and then, so you could do it however you like. I think I like it like this. And then I planned on, you know, gluing these back together. And then you can add your little um, gift card, your note, or you can have this be like a little flip out in your journal and you can have a pocket there. So that is that. And we'll go ahead and we'll make one of these. Okay, so I have one of these envelopes here. And let me get a piece of paper here. And if you're going to put this down in the journal, you probably don't need to stamp on it. So on this one, I stamped on it just because I had it open. But then I realized, uh, unless you're going to use this as a gift card envelope, you probably don't need to stamp that. All right, so let's go ahead and... I'm gonna open this up gently. Okay. Now, if you're gonna put it in a journal, your tree is going to go that way if you want it on that side. If you want it on that side, then your tree is going to go off this way. So I'm going to do it this way. And then I have this stamp. Um, it's a stamp pen to stamp, but it's super old. And it is called Cling Christmas Background. Okay, so I'm just going to use my VersaFine ink here. You can stamp off if you want, if you don't want it too dark. I think it looks okay without stamping it off, so I'm just going to leave it. And then um, I just have it on the cling that it came, came on because I... I don't really 
want it to be perfect, to be honest with you. So I just kind of did this and that. And you could do it like now. You could ink it now again if you wanted to. But I'm okay with it. I might ink it now real quick. I think I might just go ahead and ink this here. Ah. And there. Okay. I got my envelope stamped. Can do the other side too if you want. Let's get this ink off here. Close that up. Wow, messy. I'm gonna bring some of her near these trims. She has some pretty laces in her shop. I'll leave her link below. She had a pack of skinny laces. Let me get those. Okay, so here are the skinny laces from Neri Shop. Now, these could be different, you know, at depending on when you order what she has in stock. But this is uh, her set of skinny laces. So I like that you get a variety. And these are great for making these little um, trees. In fact, I might open this and use some of this. And it comes like this on a card. Of course, I took all of these off, but I might use some of these. All right, so I hope you guys are having a good week. I'm super excited about this series. I probably have mentioned that several times now, but just wanted you to know, oh my goodness, I got glue all over my fingers. Tried to get it all off, but. All right, so that'll be the bottom layer. And then let's see, I used this one. This one's really pretty. And I basically just kind of make it a little bit shorter than the next And the one above it. Now the bottom one I usually keep straight and you can like kind of make them wonky a little bit if you want to or you can leave them straight like this. You know just have fun playing with it. Let's do this one. And uh, so what I kind of do is I just do a little, little tiny, a little tiny glue there, a bit of glue. And then this one, I'll do like that. And I'll just do a little tiny bit there. Let's, see. Let's do 
to this one has some cream colored ones so let's do this pretty that's so cute this one you could like put over the top if you wanted you know to kind of layer it Put a little teeny tiny dab of glue there just enough to hold it before I sew it and if you don't want to sew it then you just glue these okay Let's use this one. This one's pretty. Actually, I might put this down here. That would be pretty. Gonna tack this down. And let's use this brown one here. And mocha one. Approximately here. These are super cute. You don't have to go out and buy these laces. I've just thought since I had these that these would be fun to work with. Let's do this one. do we have here try this one Coming together. See how easy this goes together? It's super fun. What a cute little way to give a gift or to add some fun to your journal. And then let's do this one. Okay, so what we can do now is, um, actually, you know what, I'm going to sew this. 
I'm gonna sew this real quick and be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have it sewn down the middle and it looks like a cake right now. So you could do like, <laughs> could do this for a wedding too. But so what I do is I just kind of cut this at an angle to make a little tree shape. Somebody definitely used these scissors for paper and I'm like not happy. Coming in my room using this. Okay. All right, so now let's get all this out of the way. And, and then we can add some fun things. Now this might be a little bit long, but we can like fluff this up, do whatever you want. And then the fun part is decorating the tree. So I have some pieces that I cut from her laces. I mean, from her ribbons. I think I had, look how cute that would look up there. This is from her uh, bling rhinestone trim or whatever that she has not trim but um her rhinestone appliques what i do with that um hold on so i loved this one with the uh music notes on it so let's cut a piece of that See how big do I need that? All right here. Okay, and so I took a piece of this. I cut these down to use so that I can use them in the to decorate the trees. So let's use this one because it has a little bit of gold in it and I thought that would be fun. Put that one right there. And then we'll add some of this gold. one up here and can add some yarn Maybe this fuzzy yarn. We could do like a white yarn. Let's do it right there. Okay. This one we might be able to like glue down a little bit. You can add some buttons. That would be fun.
can add some cute rickrack trim. I thought I had a pink one over here, but I don't see it. It's gone. And then I think I got these from Mary as well. She had these cute little bow flatbacks. And that'd be a cute little tree topper there. Maybe I'll cut this down just a little bit more. There we go, we can add buttons. That would be fun. The little rhinestones. You can add these old fashioned buttons. I, I did add some rhinestone trim. I have a teeny tiny rhinestone trim here. So maybe we can add that here. We'll add it right here. like that all right you can decorate with little bits of you know appliques and stuff and that'd be fun so anything you want I'm just showing you like the basic easy way to do it and then you can expand on it I need some E6000 for that. take a little bit to dry but at least it's it's on there right okay so then to do the bottom part here I just took a little piece of this yarn here And glue that on. And then I did that pretty little pom-pom trim. This was something I think I got at Michael's maybe. Like at the end of the season. So let's just put that down here. And I just glued it on. Super easy. I use the pom-poms to glue it because the string is so little. Super cute, right? You can put little. I would. Um, I have some rhinestone snowflakes. You could put that at the top. But I'm just gonna use this for right now. And I probably would normally use the E6000, but just for this video, 
because I'm just being lazy. I'm going to put that like that. And there's your little tree. Isn't that super fun? Now you can go back and sew over the pieces that you added if you want to, but not necessarily needed, but let's fix this little bit here. Super fun. And then you just can glue these, not glue it, but yeah, glue it back. Or you could sew around it, whatever you think. And there's your little Christmas tree, guys. Aren't these so fun? So there you go. You're either your gift card holders or your envelope flip outs. So there we go. There's the three trees that we created here. And I added pink on this one. You can add pink, add as many little embellishments as you want. Super fun and super quick and easy. I hope you like that, guys, and I'll be back tomorrow for another little Christmas craft. All right, guys, hope you're having a great December. Bye for now.